What's your favorite, oh, um, you, you in any recent memes? Pink Sauce, Tony Pizza. Oh, recent memes, oh God. I, I don't uh, know. The I like... wife who hates her husband and all of her comics are like how she's an awesome the, the mom. The mango or the peach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's so good. <laughs> She has another yeah, one that's like um, me when I leave the house and it's like my car keys, my kid's juice, a spare water bottle, my kid's health card, an allergy list. It, like it's a hundred thousand things. And then it's like my husband when he leaves the house, his car keys. And I'm like, man, this, this lady fucking hate hates husband her husband. So yeah. What a horrible relationship. You just got to like, you got to chill out a little bit. Honestly, also, it sounds like you're carrying too much shit. Like, yeah, that's a lot. I don't need this bare, like, water bottle when I go outside, because when I get thirsty, I go home. There was also one that said driving wine. Wait, that was... That was I thought they did that to... Uh, oh, no, the husband... That was a, a meme husband one. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I don't think she... She doesn't sound like kind of a uh, driving wine individual. Yeah, that was an edit. He seems like more of a night wine individual over yes. and over every night. Absolutely. I, I, I couldn't agree more, quite frankly. By the way, I made up for lost time. You see this? Oh, yeah. I'm right behind you. Guess what, bitch? Ooh! Oh, you're, I almost had him. <laughs> uh, I love impacting other people's games for no reason. Oh, Just yanked man. that guy like two places back. It does feel good just to have an impact. Maybe that's why the world sucks so much. Everyone just wants to do something, and they'll take whatever they can get. Hold on. Fruit Pilled Peach Cell comic. It was going through my Discord for like a couple days. There were a lot of uh, a lot of edits. He's got to feel bad for the husband a little bit. Like he's getting put on blast. Definitely. Like not he's not just in his peach. home life. Like, you got peaches. Why is he not allowed to eat the peach? Right. He, well, he, the the main tweet was like, "Hey, why don't you tell your fucking husband you're saving the peach?" Yeah. Why are you, like, setting up a booby trap for him? Or buy some chips or something so that I wouldn't eat the peach. I would eat the, yeah. the chips over the peach any day of the, any day of the week. I mean, because that, that's what happened, right? Like, uh, the, in, in real life, what happened is she saw the last peach and was like, uh, you know, I guess I'll give this to the kids. It's the last peach. But then she just didn't tell her husband. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, it's the last peach. I'm going to eat it, and which is a totally reasonable thing to do because you can fucking buy more peaches. That's the shit pisses me off because, you know, maybe they bought eight peaches. And she ate seven, but she didn't eat the right. last one. And now yeah. all of a sudden, he's the bad guy. Yep, yep. Well, let's be honest, he probably ate most of them. Let's be real. He's, he's a little peach bastard. Well, he's fruit. He's a fruit pilled peach cell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a little peach demon. Yum yum. She drives me crazy, man. Maybe you gotta hide the peaches from him if he's gonna steal all the peaches. You know. It's common courtesy to ask before eating the last of anything. No, not not really. No. You never get no. anything done. I also, eat the it's a peach. It's yeah. not like a piece of cake. You know, like. She didn't it's so make easy it. to get more peaches. That's crazy. Like that's that, what you have just described. I don't think it lives in the real world. I think that's like a, a perfect world situation. I don't think you're you're speaking about real human beings here. Cause like, what are you gonna say? No. Try that in the other direction. Your wife says, "Can I have the last cookie?" You go. You go. No. Okay. Now you're an asshole. You're an asshole either way. You can't win, man. I'm just saying, if the script was flipped, if you reverse the roles, people say that th that's like a red flag when someone says if you reverse the roles. But there's some times you reverse the roles, it should be looking a little fucked up. <laughs> a little sussy. <laughs> Look, it's just, it's fine if you want to be a little upset that you had plans for a peach and those plans were, were not seen through. Just, dude, we're in the age of fucking Instacart. Like, order some more peaches. Yeah. Well, here, this is this, a similar situation and also kind of a role reversal. My wife was reading a manga about a good husband. And then she said, man, the only thing that would make you a better husband is if you looked like G-Dragon, who is a <laughs> member of a K-pop group. I don't even remember. I think he was, I don't, I don't even know what group he was part of, okay? And then I said, things a, a wife can say to her husband, but a husband can't say to her wi his wife. Because can you imagine if you were like, man, you're such a great wife. The only thing that would be better is if you look like fucking Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls, right? Like it would just, you would be, you would be the asshole for sure. And then she said, that's true. I wonder why it is. And you know what I realized is that is because there was like thousands of years of men being like horrible spouses. So now like 
you can't say horrible things. Because <laughs> <laughs> people like will you're think you're a horrible person, but you can kind of have mean things said to you because your great-great-grandfather was a dickhead or something. I'm not that guy. I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I don't deserve that. But because, like, oh, for 500 years, like, women have been treated bad in marriage, that means I can make a joke about your uh, personal appearance and how if you were a 135-pound K-pop star, you'd be more handsome. You know what I mean? I'm not my great-grandpa. I don't know what he did. Uh, yeah, well, he ate the last peach. <laughs> he, he would eat the last peach, probably. He would eat the last peach, yeah. Hey, you're the I'm last not one flaming. Left. I'm just saying. All right. Well. Also, sorry I'm not G Dragon. Sorry I didn't get caught smoking weed in a Tokyo bathroom stall. What the hell? You can't do that in Korea or and Tokyo. Or? Yeah. Well, you I, you can't do it in Tokyo, but you definitely can't do it when you are Korean, because the attitude towards weed in Korea is that is basically as bad as uh, like fentanyl. <laughs> very funny.